Hello, my name is Jamie and this is my video tutorial for my chalk action. Um, so let's get started. Okay, I'm going to create in this tutorial a simple journal card. So I'm going to create it here in my Photoshop as 4 by 3. And I'm going to double click the background so I could apply one of the chalk or blackboard styles to it. There are 12 styles in total. Uh, as you see, there are um, six unique with uh, sort of an inner shadow on each of them. Um, mm, I think I'll use this one. I kind of like that green. No, maybe I'll use this one. And just a little tip here. If you double click your layer uh, style settings on the pattern here, oops, scoot it over there. As if you have your pattern overlay checked here and you're in this sort of panel, you can actually drag your pattern around. Um, some people know this, some people don't. I find it useful, especially if you're repeating a lot of elements and using the same style. You might want to change it up a bit and uh, use that little function. I'll show it with another one to show you how cool that is. So, yeah. Anywho, let's get started. I'm going to create a layer above this. And I'm going to start first with a... with a... Uh, text, um, some kind of text. How about something like, hello? That's creative. Um, I'm going to make it 100, I think. Actually, let's change it to lobster because I like that font. And I'll change it to 100. Okay, that looks okay to me. So, to use my action, we will, first of all, rasterize the layer. Okay and assuming that you have my action loaded, my styles loaded for the, ch the chalk action, and the brushes that um, make the outline a little more chalky, um, we should be ready to go here. So go ahead and make sure you select the brush you want as the outline of your shape or text. And I'm just going to choose this one and I'm going to go ahead and click play. Yeah, yeah, and continue. So that's it. That's all right here. And just to show you without really doing anything right now, um, you can see the outline here is a little chalked and the, the original layer looks as it is, but that's okay. All we're going to do now is apply one of the styles. Okay? So there's a number of styles here, I'll back out a little bit, that you can choose from. And you just basically select the one you like. So I'm going to choose that for now. And that's really how simple it is. It, there's really not a lot to the action. And really, you don't even have to use the action. Um, the action, what it does is it just outlines the shape and turns it into a path and the path is then brushed um, with whichever brush you, you have chosen. Um, so we can do that again. Let's take another shape like this, for example. And let's choose another brush. And we will click Play. Yep, continue, continue, and then apply a style, whichever you like. And that's really that simple. And you don't even have to apply them to shapes. Um, for example, if you have a tablet, like I have myself right now, um, you can really just use the brushes as they are. And, um, for example, there's a little heart and then you can apply a style to it a chalk style and there you go and I'm just gonna continue here 
see it's really kind of cool, right? It's really versatile. And um, let's create a new layer. Doo -doo -doo. I love tablets. I recommend if you ever have the extra money to invest in one to do so because they're too much fun. Oh, that's the same style. I don't want that. Hello. And it's like, it's like chalk. It's really cool, right? Okay. Hmm. Leave it at that one. And you can see up close here what that kind of looks like, right? So you don't have to apply it to shapes. You can just go freehand and go to town if you wanted to. So um, I think that's all I wanted to show you um, regarding how to use the action. Like I said, the action really is to just outline the shape. Um, certainly you can do it yourself if you already know how to. And it's just a combination of setting your background to the blackboard style you like and um, choosing the brush uh, the the brush type you need to take a little time and experiment which one is your favorite um, and just experimenting with it and having fun because I love to have fun making actions and stuff and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're interested in purchasing the action if you haven't already um, the links are below okay till next time